Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions, and in today's video, we're going to be adding additional chamber space to an existing dry well. Now, this is the access point to the existing dry well. It's an NDS flow well, and I'll stick the camera down there a little bit later so you guys can take a look and see what it looks like down there. But basically, the situation that we have going on here is the main line has completely failed that leads to this dry well. This is it right here sticking out of the ground. It's a big box store corrugated pipe. As you can see, it's pretty filled with debris, has multiple collapses in it. It's separated from the other main line that goes underneath these pavers to this downspout that collects the super gutter off of the back pool roof. So we have the pavers also settling and collapsing here because the water is getting is pulling the dirt and sediment into this failed line and it's causing a sinkhole to open up right here. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll get this ripped out. We'll get all the pavers set back into place once we have our main line installed. And on this particular job, we're gonna be using SDR 35 for this install. That's what the client opted for. So that's what we're gonna be installing. Now let's go ahead and stick the camera down in this NDS flow well so you can take a look. That's the piece of accordion pipe. So somewhere in the ground, they changed it over from big box store corrugated pipe to the accordion pipe. And the accordion pipe, at least that's what we call it in the industry, is a very, very cheap pipe. I mean, it can collapse literally with a pin dropping on it. So you do not want to use accordion pipe. Now, the other thing that we're going to be doing is connecting this catch basin into our dry well system, into our new chamber. The catch basin was placed there and it collects from a downspout that connects into it and that line is fine, but other than that, it doesn't go anywhere. So we wanna go ahead and we wanna connect it into our new system so it can actually flow into the dry well and then the dry well will slowly perk and leach the water into the ground. Now, the soil here is really, really good soil. It's nice, sandy, loamy soil and it drains and perks very well. That's the only time you ever want to use a dry well system. You have to see and make sure that the soil conditions are right for a dry well. Because if not, you're, it's not going to perk well into the soil. Now, as you can see, we have pool pump lines here that we're dealing with, but we got very lucky. The pool pump lines, they're all like two inch lines. They're deep enough where we can run our SDR 35 PVC pipe on top of them and still have enough pitch and fall to make it to our dry well system. So we got lucky with that because if not, we would have had to go underneath those pool pump lines, which means a deeper pipe and having to go a lot deeper with the dry well. So as you can see, we're connecting in our SDR 35 pipe into our new section of dry well chamber. And we're gonna be also splicing that chamber into the NDS dry well. So we're just gonna use a piece of four inch SDR 35 pipe to go ahead and make an inlet and connect those two together. So basically the way this is gonna work is once the water starts to fill up in there and it gets to a certain level, it'll start to enter the NDS flow well as well. And that provides the additional chamber length. So the dry well can hold more water on heavy storms until the storm event is over and then the water can leach into the ground. Now we just use a base of stone with geotextile filter fabric underneath our dry well to allow that water to perk. We're going to be using an angle grinder to cut a couple of these pavers so that we can put them back properly. The reason we had to do this is because we are actually not connecting directly to the downspout on this particular job. We're going to be putting a catch basin below it. The reason for this is the client wanted us to put a catch basin here because this was a low point that additional water, surface water is going to fall into and the channel drain water that dumps off the pool deck is also going to be entering that. So we'll have two inlets going into our new dry well chamber. One of them is going to be for the catch basin for that downspout and the channel drain and that low point. And the other one is going to connect to another catch basin that already has a downspout routed into it, but then doesn't lead anywhere. So we are going to use the hose and we're going to test each catch basin and make sure that the water travels efficiently to our chamber. And that pretty much just about does it for this job. Now is just the cleanup part. 
And I hope you enjoyed this video and you gained some knowledge from watching it. If you live in the Tampa Bay area and you need exterior drainage work done around your home or property or commercial drainage done, give Stormwater Drainage Solutions a call at 813-614-3456. We can come out there, assess the situation, and help design a system that fits your needs. We use only the best materials and the best practices in the business. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It really supports us. It helps the channel out. And if you have a question, leave it in the comment section below, and I will do my best to get to it and answer it. And until next time, this is SWDS signing off.